Okay, so now we're going to do what we call uppercut six. So the key here, imagine if you have a blade and you're actually cutting upwards, and you're cutting upwards. So you're not really supposed to make a lot of contact with this, okay? Uh, you're going to see both some cuts right there, but one leg in front. To help keep our posture straight, so we don't lean in with our head and actually get hit. And this one also, you notice that we've been starting underneath. This one actually lays on top, and you'll find that the more that you get your arm closer, the more clearance you have right here. Versus if you do it this way, sometimes you end up trapping yourself. Okay? So starting in here, just on top. So we're both going to cut upward like this. One, cut up. Two, this one we cut up, we lay it on top, and that was right here side. This is number four, cut up number five, and number six. So you notice that when I cut this, this is tough. See how it's cut and tough? This one kind of continues its revolution as this one comes here and gets right in position for the next one. Okay, so we'll do it one time without actually stopping. You'll see one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's what we call uppercut six.